Colorado has two different species of tarantulas, and the ones in the southeastern part of the state are the Oklahoma Browns, or Afonopelma hensi. And they're really interesting because they do the annual migration, which we actually call a mate-gration because what's really happening is the males are maturing and they're walking out to go find their females. My name's Lorna McAllister. I'm the target species manager at Butterfly Pavilion. So right now we're in the short grass prairies in southeastern Colorado. It's a lot of grasses and a lot of dryness. It's kind of like being in the desert where the animals really have to be adapted to this area. For thousands of years, there just has been a combination of a variety of factors that have made the vegetative community what it is, has made the soil what it is, and has made the wildlife that interacts with that what it is. My name is Ashley White. I am a horticulturist, and I am the Community Habitats Manager at Butterfly Pavilion in Westminster. This landscape just facilitates what the tarantulas need to both breed and to navigate effectively. So that's interesting because you really don't see these animals a lot. So when they do come out once a year, it's a very exciting thing to see. As we're studying them, we're gonna take the information that we learn and apply that to conservation efforts for the tarantulas. So we've got a molt here outside of what looks like a mature tarantula's burrow. And then I also know this is a mature burrow because she tossed out her egg sac. So this is a female's burrow. One cool thing about them is that the females do take care of their young for a little bit of their life. So the females will lay an egg sac that has anywhere from like 50 to 250 eggs inside of it and they'll all hatch out of their eggs and then they'll go through their first molt and they'll stay with their mom inside of her burrow for a while. The males take about seven to 10 years to mature and the females take about 10 to 12 years. So it's quite a long time for them to mature. And then once the males reach that maturity, that's when they do that walk. And they only live for maybe another year after that walk. The females get up to about six inches in diameter the males get to about 4.5 to 5 inches. So they're not huge tarantulas, but for the U.S., that's a pretty big size. When you're seeing them, that's kind of the last hurrah of their life. They're going to mate and die. I'm trying to see if it's an active burrow, so I'm just kind of teasing it with some grass. I'm also trying to see if it might be a mature male or female. So you can see it's pulling on the, on the blade of grass right now and about to come out, maybe. <laughs> they come out of their burrows and they like to walk when it's cool out. So it's usually in the morning or the evenings. They'll walk around. They really just wander and they try to sense for female pheromones. They walk around with their petty palps, which are their two front appendages, and you'll see them kind of feeling around. And once they find the webbing of a female, they'll tap outside of her burrow and we call that drumming. And if she's interested, she might drum back and she'll come out of that burrow. And then if she's still interested, she'll mate with him. And if he's lucky, she won't try to get him as well. About 20% of them do get bitten by their mates and eaten. The males are really just trying to spread their genetics and not become a snack at the end of the day. They are venomous, but luckily the ones in North America don't have a very strong venom. So getting bit by a tarantula here would kind of be just like a bee sting. And they really don't like to bite either. Their first and biggest defense is the urticating hairs that they have, which can get under your skin. So that's why we recommend not picking them up.
we're very excited about the Lahana Tarantula Fest. It was built off the idea from Visit Lahana started promoting tarantula tourism in 2018. We saw the interest. We lead with education and responsible visitation. My name is Pam Denehi. I'm the Director of Tourism for the City of La Junta. We are in the southeast corner of the state. La Junta is, has about 7,500 residents. We're fortunate enough to have the Comanche National Grassland, which has a, over 400,000 acres of land, which is ripe prairie lands for people to come and see the tarantulas. So we're very excited about sharing the tarantulas with the world. Last year we heard about the La Junta Tarantula Festival, and so we were so excited to come down and see it. We have our own little tarantula, <laughs> and we're down here to see what wow, tarantulas look like. We have everything from a tarantula-themed parade, merchant vendors, food trucks, hairy leg contest, the eight-legged race, educational pavilion, and the tarantula tours that will take visitors out to the grasslands to view and learn about not only the grasslands, but the tarantulas. So you can see the males have like dark black legs when they're mature, and then the females are brown. And we're really targeting conscientious travelers to come and view the tarantulas in their natural habitat. So I do think they do require some protection. When we develop the land and turn it into cow pastures or corn fields, it's not good habitat for them. They eat tons of the things that we typically don't like, like beetles and cockroaches and crickets. So they help keep them under control. They have that important role in their own ecosystem. Today, I got to have my first interaction with a wild tarantula. And it was great to have the opportunity to kind of debunk those you know, myths and, and the, the scary lore that's behind them and just see how graceful and natural they are in these systems. I hope that the future for these tarantulas holds a lot of protection for the short grass prairie. And I also hope that the interest locally increases so that the people around La Junta get to appreciate these species and that other Coloradans come and, and also get involved in the conservation of the prairie.